Yeah, and this move is temporary. It's actually an agreement with the FAA to suspend these living history flights while the Collings Foundation responds to the FAA's concerns about the Collings Foundation operations and procedures. The vintage planes of the Collings Foundation traveling Wings of Freedom tour will not be taking passengers on flights. I'm a fan of history myself, so I don't want to see the whole industry shut down, but at, at the same time, you know, I want to, I don't want to see what happened, happen again. The Collings Foundation told Fox 61, we have agreed to a temporary stand down with our living history flight exemption as we work with the FAA thoroughly addressing questions regarding operations. We hope to have this resolved soon. Today, you and I are going to take a flight on the B-17. You're going to be part of the crew. Nearly four months after the tragic crash that killed seven people at Bradley Airport, a video tour of the B-17 remains on the Collings Foundation website. I can see where some people may may have tough a tough time, especially if you know anybody that that perished. To completely take out all of the information and the amazing long history of the 909 would be a disservice to all the people, crew, pilots, support staff, volunteers, veterans, and family members who have a personal connection to this extraordinary aircraft, said the Collings Foundation. We are all in deep mourning. Andy Munson of Higginham is a sponsor of the Collings Foundation. He says preserving history is important. Like my family, it's three generations we've We've thrilled at what these what these airmen did in World War II, and we can't lose that bringing it to the people. Joe Roberts lost his brother Jim in the crash. He drives Jim's old car now and says the holidays were hard. Still did the holidays. My brother would have wanted that, but, you know, it's really setting in now that he's not coming back. He's formed a bond with other victims' family members. Everybody has a, a big loss, and, you know, in some ways, it does provide support. Right now, the Collings Foundation Wings of Freedom Tour is in Venice, Florida. As of right now, they do not have any plans to come back to Connecticut for this year. The NTSB, meanwhile, is still months away from issuing a final report into the crash. Reporting live in Windsor Locks, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.